Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, I gave a general overview of what support departments are. In this video, I wanted to show how to actually allocate cost from support departments to revenue producing departments. And we can do this by using three different methods. Uh, one being the direct method, which we're gonna be going over in this video, and the other two being the step down method and the reciprocal method. So the goal of this video is to actually allocate all of the cost from all support departments to revenue producing departments. That is the ultimate goal. We want all of the cost to be fairly allocated to revenue producing departments. And that goes for all three methods. They're gonna end up ultimately in revenue producing departments. So let's go ahead and bring up some numbers that we can actually look at. So we've got to the We've got two different support departments. We've got security on the left and HR on the right. And we've got some illustrations to go alongside with them. So we have these department costs and we're gonna wanna allocate these costs to the revenue producing departments. So the 92,000, we're gonna wanna allocate it to the retail and also to the restaurant. And the HR, we're gonna to want to allocate it to the retail and the restaurant as well. So this method, it completely ignores that support departments help each other. So it's basically just saying that the support departments are just there for the revenue producing departments. Even though the support departments might help each other, we're going to allocate it like the support departments are only helping the revenue producing departments. So let's go ahead and actually start with our calculations. So using this method, we can start with either the security or the HR department to allocate the cost. I'm just gonna start with the security since it's on the left-hand side and it's nicely set up for us. So let's allocate it. I'm gonna write security in a legible manner, security, and we're going to allocate it to the first revenue producing department, so retail. So we're gonna take the $92,000 of department cost and we're gonna prorate it based on the amount of security or amount of the support or security department that it uses. So it uses 15 employees of a total of 20. And you might be wondering, why aren't we using the one or the two? And that's because we don't wanna allocate cost from support departments back into support departments. This method focuses on just allocating directly to revenue producing departments. So that's gonna give us an amount of $69,000. Next is security to the restaurant department. So we're going to start off with the 92,000, multiply it by they use five employees, so we're gonna say five of 20. And again, we're going to ignore those cost drivers for security and HR. So uh, that will be, well, this works out to be 25% of 92,000, which is 23,000. And we can confirm our work by seeing that these two add up to our 92,000 original cost for the security department. So we've allocated security to retail and security to the restaurant. Let's go ahead and allocate the HR department. Okay, let me just bring up a different color. I'm gonna use a nice green. So HR, we have HR allocating to retail. Just like we started off with retail first, we're gonna do it again. So we're gonna take 146,000 and prorate it by, well, they use 400 of a total of 650 hours because 400 plus 250 is 650. So we're just going to write it down like this and that will equal an amount of 89,846 when we round up to the nearest dollar. And the next part is HR to the restaurant department. I know this is kind of long, but hopefully it's pretty straightforward. I think it's fairly straightforward. The other methods are a little bit more complicated. Uh, so the restaurant uses 250 
hours of the 650. So they're going to have $56,000, 154 or $56,154 of cost allocated from HR to the restaurant. So we've now allocated to both of those revenue producing departments. And once again, we can confirm this by making sure that this adds up to 146,000. So there you have it. Uh, we've allocated the amounts, pretty simple. And just to summarize everything, I'm just going to draw a table. I'm going to draw this in each, each video to just show how much cost we've allocated from each support department. So from security to retail, we allocated 69,000. Security to restaurant was 23,000. HR to retail was 89,846, while HR to restaurant was 56,124, which gives us a final value dun, 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 of 154,000. 846 while the other is 79,100 and oh this should actually be a five I should say 156,154 there we go that way the total amount will be 79,154 sorry for the confusion there so that is the total amount that is allocated to retail and the restaurant departments and this will be different depending on whether we use the direct method the step down method or the reciprocal method so follow these calculations and you can't go wrong i'll see you guys in the next tutorial when we talk about the step down method if you have any questions regarding accounting or any of the material within our videos you can tweet us at note pirate you can like us on facebook to receive updates or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped and like always thanks for watching us on youtube